we've counted on Mary Albaugh and the folks at the American Legion VFW to organize this. And Mary's uh, struggling with her husband's health, so she's kind of out of the loop right now. But, uh, we want to be mindful of her situation, uh, keep her in our best uh, thoughts, wishes, prayers. But I think there's, uh, I'm uh, 60 years old now, and I was thinking back to those big events in life. Like, what were the big five or six things that I remember? When I was five and a half, President Kennedy was assassinated. And I don't remember all the details of Kennedy's assassination, but I remember the horror on my parents' faces. So that's one of those big events. And then uh, a few years later, when we land on the moon, you have that other, I don't think at 10, 11 years old, I knew even then how big of an event that was, but you remember these things. And then 1976 was the bicentennial. And there's just certain things, whether it's... Uh, really, really good or really, really bad that uh, I think we are formed individually and as a society. And I, I can't remember anything that I was more touched by than uh, what occurred 17 years ago with 9-11. So I have some brief remarks. Uh, we'll see if any of our commissioners or chiefs want to weigh in on anything relative to 9-11. And then I have a proclamation to read that's uh, actually just a spruced up version of what we've done the last several years. Uh, good morning and thank you for joining us for the commemoration of the horrible events that occurred about this time on September 11, 2001. Today marks the 17th anniversary of the worst terror attack in our nation's 242-year history. During the September 11 attacks of 2001, 2,996 people were killed and more than 6,000 others injured. These immediate deaths included 265 on the four airplanes, 2,606 in the World Trade Center and in the surrounding area, and 125 in the Pentagon. The attacks were the deadliest terrorist attack in world history and the most devastating foreign attack on United States soil since the attack on Pearl Harbor on December 7, 1941. Most of those who perished were civilians, except for 343 firefighters and 71 law enforcement officers who died in the World Trade Center and on the ground in New York City, and another law enforcement officer who died when United Airlines Flight 93 crashed into a field near Shanksville, Pennsylvania. 55 military personnel died at the Pentagon in Arlington County, Virginia, and the 19 terrorists all died aboard the four aircrafts. Overall, 2,605 U.S. citizens including 2,135 civilians, died in the attacks, while 372 non-U.S. citizens also perished, representing about 12% of the total. This morning, we remember all of those who perished, but we are reminded to be ever vigilant and to appreciate that terrorism lurks, always ready to rear its ugly face. We thank our Buchanan Upshur first responders who work every day to help keep us safe but we're also reminded that we all must be cognizant of the threats to our way of life and not to shrink away from our responsibilities to share information with our authorities about any perceived threats, whether foreign or domestic. Remember, often our worst threats emanate from inside our nation and society. Before we conclude this morning's commemoration, I have a proclamation to share. Uh, but first I call upon Terry or Sam or Buddy, would anybody like to speak on behalf of the county commission? Say anything? Sam, you're welcome, Terry. Oh, on behalf of the commission. Appreciate the mayor and the city for putting this together. We'll do day in and day out. It's something that the community is all being appreciated. So, the situation alive.
be. I wish to say anything. Yeah, I just have a couple of reflections to, to share with everybody. Uh, first, obviously, the 9-11 uh, uh, you know, today, I'm sure every day, uh, every year from here on out will uh, be just as vivid of a memory as, as that first day, as that first 9-11 back in 2001. But what really uh, makes that more poignant, this is a couple of reflections I just wanted to share. Uh, I had the opportunity to visit the 9-11 Memorial in New York City this is past winter. And there were two takeaways that I think is definitely relevant to today, as well as uh, all first responders, as well as all Americans, really. And they, they evoke emotions on both ends of the spectrum, uh, the takeaways that I had from this memorial. If you've never had the opportunity to visit this, it's, it's definitely something that
you know, not that something of that magnitude would happen here, but our people are, are prepared and we're ready to do what we have to do for our community. So. I've heard you and Matt, uh, as we've been going through this uh, municipal police and fire department accreditation process in recent months, uh, I've heard you both say that uh, you're always, and, and I've picked up on it when I see the guys, I, all, my, my byline has always been just be safe. But uh, most important words are finish your shift yeah. and go home. Yeah. And uh, every day, every single day, there are first responders that uh, don't get to finish their shift and they don't get to go home. Sure. So I, I, I appreciate Sam's remarks about that. that this, is, uh, this day is called different things. If you Google, uh, as I did last evening in getting these remarks ready, some folks refer to it as Patriot. Some folks call it commemoration day. Some folks just call it 9-11 uh, day. Uh, but whatever you want to call it, uh, this is largely about uh, that something we should all be doing in every community is uh, appreciating and calling out to our first responders and recognizing because you never know. You just never know. Thank you. All right, I've got a short proclamation and then uh, uh, we'll get on for our work for the day, right? <clears throat> Patriot Day, a day to remember. Whereas the unprovoked attacks of September 11, 2001 upon America by foreign terrorists have thrust the United States and other nations into a war they never envisioned, militarily or diplomatically, and whereas the challenges facing all of the civilized people of the world as they relate to the war on terrorism will not end until those fanatics responsible are held accountable and brought to justice. And whereas the United States is fully committed to ensuring our freedom remain unfettered and sovereign for all generations, now and forever, and whereas world opinion needs to remain focused upon the eradication of these human acts perpetrated around the globe, and whereas one way to accomplish this is to never forget that those innocent victims of September 11, 2001 did not die in vain, and whereas America can fight back by reminding the world that the deaths of these people will always be remembered and that they will be forever loved. And whereas a noble and appropriate way to accomplish this is through the annual celebration of their lives, and whereas this commemoration should be conducted each September 11 throughout the land to include the promotion of global peace and goodwill, the demonstration of America's resolve and perseverance to win the war on terrorism, the advancement the advancement of responsible citizenship, the encouragement of patriotism and love of country, and the poignant remembrance of the innocent victims who died September 11 as heroes, one and all. Now, therefore, be it resolved by the city of Buckhannon that I am issuing this proclamation to memorialize those men, women, and children who lost their lives, and be it further resolved that this proclamation be publicized for all to see know the citizens of Buchanan, remember with eternal respect those whose lives were suddenly without cause and pointlessly taken on September 11, 2001. Maybe we could have just a uh, short moment of silent reflection and then we'll adjourn and let everyone get on with their work. Thank you all for coming out. We'll uh, do it again next year. In the meantime, let's all be safe. Thank you.